Hey, hey, hey! What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Subscribers! Man, that is old by now. Why the hell am I making old ass references? <laughs> I mean, I guess that was only last year, but still, come on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are back with Phoenix Wright. Uh, sorry for the hiatus between this and last, well, last episode, but also last stream. The reason why I haven't been streaming much is if you guys watch those live streams, uh, at one point, I don't know when this happened, my headset, my, uh, <laughs> my headset mic started to get damaged. It wasn't broken completely. Like, if I put it into a certain position, it would still record my voice just fine. But, yeah, but, like, it was still, like, sometimes it would get in the wrong position, and just go off entirely, and then I wouldn't be able to do anything about it, and it sucked. So, uh, that was a part of the reason why I wasn't recording. Another part was, again, E3 kind of took up that time period. I just didn't want to do anything else during that time period because I wanted to be up to date on the announcements and whatnot. Oh, uh, something about my mic I forgot to mention is that I just fixed it recently. Well, rather, I put it in a position and then super glued it shut. And hopefully, hopefully, nothing will ruin it again. Although, it's very possible that if it gets broken now, it's never going to come back. And if that happens, I don't know what to tell you. I can't really announce anything oh by the way um, to add another thing to the pile of disasters there's also the fact that my uh, my Twitter account currently uh, at the point of this recording has been locked out just like a number of other people they've had the Twitter locked lockdown I think it's what it's called a lockout something along those lines where Twitter basically <laughs> There's a bunch, of, if you didn't know, a bunch of people back in the day, back before they were, back in the day, uh, like, Twitter has had this somewhat policy for years, it's like, you need to be over 13 in order to make a Twitter account. But, of course, not everybody was over 13 when they made one, they just lied and then put in a different date. A whole shit ton of people have had their date like that for a long time, and then they were going to fix it by reverting it back to how it should have been. Uh, to the date it should have been once they had become 13. Of course, Twitter being the ding-dongs that they were, not only didn't allow us to change our damn uh, date until like a week ago. I don't even think it was a week ago. Like maybe a couple of days ago. But basically, uh, no, 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 no. It was a, a little while ago. It was at the beginning of, the, beginning of June. That's when they added that feature. And so a lot of people started changing their birth dates to be their accurate dates. But what they didn't know is that for some reason, Twitter is locking every single account that was made before, thir before the 13th if they change their date to be accurate to what it's supposed to be. Meaning, <laughs> a whole bunch of people, even people who made that account by accident, like me, when I was... In 2009, when I made that account, I was about 11, I believe. I didn't know that I was making an account. I didn't know what I was doing. I forgot about the account until way after 13, and way after I was 13, and then got locked out entirely. So <laughs> that wasn't fun. But uh, when when I made when I actually started using the account, what I what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a new account, but it wouldn't let me use the same email to make a new account back then. Nowadays, in order to make a new account, you don't even need a new email; you just need a phone number or anything like that. But I I wasn't able to do that because they were like, "Oh, this account is already be this email is already being claimed," and I was like, "The hell!" And then I f went and inputted the stuff to be able to get my account to see uh, whose account was there and I figured out that I would already made an account years ago and I just decided you know what screw it I could delete this account and make a whole new one but I'm not going to I'm just gonna use the one that's already here <laughs> although I'm pretty sure you know if I'm correct you couldn't even put your eight date to be like 1998 or anything like that in the first place you were locked into 1995 and they just didn't edit that at all or maybe they just didn't let you switch past the date that you inputted I don't know anyways point is that uh yeah I only 
ended I only ended up having that account from way back then because I literally couldn't make a new one at the time. <laughs> and so when I try I've been trying to fix that the whole time and when I did, I got locked out and apparently Twitter's customer service is absolute shit. You can't like call somebody and get it all fixed up. They have an automated system that doesn't work that requires you to give personal information like your ID and whatnot and then just decides to tell you lie to you about it fixing your account when it didn't apparently people have been waiting up to two weeks to get their accounts fixed even though they've already inputted things and whatnot Ugh, it's a shit show but it i'm not the only person who's going through this is why i'm mentioning it now and just so you know if i were to if this mic were to break i probably wouldn't be able to report it on my uh, original twitter account my current my backup twitter account Instead of being Moshe 800, it's Moshe X 800. Because, uh, Mega Man X, I guess. <laughs> really, I guess it was just it, because I didn't want to be too different, but also still, you know, being different enough. Oh, did my, uh. Oh, no, that's no, just saying I paid my Patreon bills. Nah. Uh, anyways. Another thing, another disaster that happened. Is that, uh, actually, I mentioned this during the live stream, but I cracked my screen. <laughs> I was watching a video about combat animations and, like, how, like, the Injustice ones were pretty shitty and how, like, the throw would have had, like, no power. And I did the throw at the general direction of my, uh, of my computer and it wasn't, ha didn't have any power. But then I was like, if you wanted to throw, if you wanted to throw it really strong, you do it this way. And then I threw it at my screen and damaged it. And then I was like, man, I really wish I had Crazy Diamond right about now. Uh, but you know, stands don't really exist, probably. Oh shit! Has this not been recording? Is my com oh okay? My controller just went dead because I've been talking for so long. Ugh. I apologies for that. It's just a lot of update shit. <laughs> I might cut this down, I might not, who knows. Anyways, basically, there's been a lot of dissuading factors that kept me from going back to the series. Specifically, I think the mic was the biggest one because, but the screen, like, I might just do Phoenix Wright back to back to back recently because, uh, going forward because I'm not sure I can do Fire Emblem with my screen broken because I usually do full screen for that and that usually works out but if I were to do Fire Emblem now I'd have to do like a smaller screen configuration and hope to god that that screen configuration upscales properly so uh, that's a bit complicated with Phoenix right it's actually way easier and honestly I should have been doing it from this way the first place because it makes it so that like the screen is if you haven't noticed the screen in previous episodes have been a little bit like, the bottom bar is bigger than the top bar, or vice versa, I don't remember which, but, uh, it's not in the, the actual video isn't in the middle. If I do it like this, the video will definitely be in the middle, so, that's also solved. <laughs> Again, I'm only ever, I'm only really saying all this stuff now in case anything happens that I can't really post an update or anything like that, because if this mic goes out, I can't post an update verbally. I mean, I could always just throw together some sort of video, but, you know. I, I'm planning on getting a new computer, a new mic, all of that shit, but I'm going to need to get a job first, which I'm working on, so update over pretty much. Anyways, in the last episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, we won the case, except not really. <laughs> I mean, we kind of did, but we didn't, we also kind of didn't. What really ha ended up happening is that we, uh, we proved that one, the murder happened in Studio 2, two, we... We at least implied, or at least we we made the assertion that uh that Jack Hammer was the one who stole the Steel Samurai costume and was the one in the Steel Samurai costume when he died when he died instead of Will Powers, which we have yet to prove yet. However, if we find any evidence that proves that, we've more or less won the case in that regard. That, and we've also, if that is indeed true, that means only somebody from Studio Two could have killed somebody and. You know what that means. <clears throat> Hopefully I remember all the voices properly. <laughs> and don't end up making like weird deep phoenix and like. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully I can get my gumshoe voice back, pal. <laughs> it's not really that hard to do, but <laughs> I want to make sure it's authentic, pal. Because otherwise, uh, 
I just look, it sound weird, right? <laughs> my voice has gotten deeper. Well, then again, to be fair, it, it hasn't gotten deeper from last time. I just mean, like, last time it was deeper, and it still is, so uh, problems will happen. But anyways, moving on, we are at the day three investigation. Hopefully, we're going to find some dirt on who actually did it, as well as finding some evidence that proves Will Powers uh, innocent. October 19th. 3.27 p.m. I think this is 2016. That was a close one, huh, Mia? That was a, cl that was a close one, huh, Mia? Huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? Mamaya! So what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow! Good going, Nick! Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial system, to elaborate, if anybody forgot, is that uh, in the Phoenix Wright... Oh, actually, he, I, she's about to explain it. <laughs> actually, I, I'm not going to go over it. I, I caught myself there because I know I was going to explain it. And then I was going to do that thing where I explain something. And then Phoenix immediately explains the same thing I said because I got ahead of myself and thought we already he had heard it. But... Yeah, Phoenix is gonna go. Initial trial? What's that? Uh, what's that? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember my, my voice. That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed up the whole, proce the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. There we go. Phoenix Wright! Ace Attorney! Take that! All right, I think we got it. Ah, I've missed this theme. How you been, Maya girl? Yeah, but the initial trial system basically is a three-day system that exists only in Phoenix, right? It also explains the way why we're why we don't have to show all our evidence to the prosecution because it just simply isn't enough time and all that it also really did it also completely disproves that one shitty uh game not game explain game theory, theory on this game about how phoenix is a hack because he didn't take into account that this game has a different legal system and it's based on japan but anyways but i'm the steel samurai i don't get it maya why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was the one steal the one wearing the costume? Yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick! Why would he go through all the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. <laughs> Although, really, I don't know why you brought that up to her, even though she was clearly not there, Phoenix. Well, then again, that actually doesn't get explained to the next game. <laughs> the Director's Alibi. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh, uh, huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Mom's yelling at me. And now my phone's buzzing. Just disaster after disaster. How about I just send her a text message to shut up? I mean, um... <laughs> Which means the killer has to be one of them. <coughs> Which means the killer has to be one of them. Anyways, I'm back. Yeah. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer, where that trailer is. What? Hmm. Was Maya always this excitable? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. WP Powers, right? <laughs> Why are you asking? <laughs> Why are you acting like you don't already know these things, Phoenix? It's only been a couple hours since the trial. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm in the singing mood. <laughs> Bruh. 
All right, I think I can do the voice now. Mm -hmm. Just turn it. My voice has been very, very uh, hoarse all day, so uh, being able to get this kind of voice uh, takes a lot more effort than it usually does, which is usually pretty bad. Like, if it sounds bad, again, my voice, I didn't get to warm up my voice today. I went to church, sang a lot of songs. Uh, my voice has been all kinds of messed up. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying to act for the kids. He's sounding a lot more confident. Maybe that's because the trial is moving in his direction. Mr. Wright, you did a, you did, Mr. Wright, you did very, you did very well again today. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, could you not look like you're about to burst into into tears? <laughs> wow, Nick, you must have really wowed them, wowed them in there. I wow them out here too. I wow them everywhere, out in the streets, <laughs> in the sheets, everywhere. <laughs> I don't know, uh, would Phoenix be good in bed? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking these questions. I mean, I'm not interested in them. <laughs> but I, anyways, whatever. <laughs> you could stop looking so vulnerable, too. Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yeah. Though there's not really anything I could do to help. That's not true. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do, either. Please, this is no laughing matter. <laughs> Why am I the only one who does anything here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my voice is gonna be fucked up after this. I mean, effed up. It's gotta stop swearing. <laughs> I've gotten actually worse since last time, I think. <sighs> You'd think a voice this deep would be pretty easy for me to do, especially considering my voice has gotten deeper. But really, honestly, it's gotten hard. It's really kinda hard. Especially when he starts crying like this. <laughs> <laughs> that was very goofy, oh my god. Like, literally goofy. <laughs> no, not literally. But, but, you know what I mean. Goofy the Disney character. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? <laughs> she doesn't like her. <laughs> she's been a global studio for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is, why is that? Ever since she came on board, she has nothing but hits. Global Studio was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? Nothing. Forget it. I've only heard rumors, anyhow. Rumors? You better tell me them rumors! Otherwise... It's your ass! Except, you're pretty safe, honestly. I mean, we're not in that much danger anymore. Then anyway, you should not lower our guard. You never know what Edgeworth might have up his cravat. <laughs> might just pull out, like... <laughs> and here's the murder weapon! This Colt <laughs> 45 revolver! The f <laughs> The hell? <laughs> How the hell did that... <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense, Edgeworth! And it's like, oh, it per makes perfect sense, the judge says, and then we just, a whole case explodes. <laughs> yeah, but the road is still hoarse, and I didn't have any extra water. Oh, I do have water. Ah. Mm. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. Oh, I think I'm going to be good. Little goggle. Should have, I wish I had some honey with that. Would have made things all good. Some papakor. That stuff is the best. If you have a Chinese market, go pick that shit up. I once drank. I once used to take that, uh, like pretty much daily for about a year, and I never got a cold a single time. That whole year is crazy. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manila? Oh, he used to be a minor straight to video director. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Feels bad, man. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Wait, she brought it to him? <laughs> huh. Now everyone knows who this knows the name Salmonella. Well, I mean, I guess he's the director, but I guess she's the one who made up the the uh, the Steel Samurai. Then again, to be fair, he might have just been inspired by her, considering you know that's where the Pink Princess also came from. <laughs> from Maya, I mean. <laughs> Like, he just got inspiration from... Totally girl, cute girls! <laughs> totally cute girls! 
inspire my creative power. <coughs> my poor voice, man. I'm glad he's basically gone for the rest of this case. I think. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. <laughs> Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. <laughs> I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though I can't imagine he, him jumping. <laughs> I knew he was gonna go there. I, I just, I was, cause it was my thought in my mind too. It's like I, I can imagine him being at her beck and call, but I, I definitely can't imagine that nigga jumping. <laughs> Man, I need to stop saying that too. <laughs> But anyways, that's exactly what came to mind. I was just like, yep. Can't imagine him jumping. Uh, Phoenix and me are on the same wavelength. <laughs> I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, uh, yes, you're right. In fact, he used to be my role model when I started in the business. But he stopped taking on big roles. When he began appearing on Little Productions, then that's when he began appearing on Little Productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Sus. Five years ago. That's before the, uh... What was it called? <laughs> the System 3-Day thingy thing. Anyways, BEHOLD EVIDENCE! MY ATTORNEY'S BADGE! E excuse me, thank you for showing me th that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way to help you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm actually stuffed up, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, I add that to the laundry list of health problems. Well, not health problems. I guess health problems. Oh, we don't have the, uh, the bottle. Here's the path to glory, bruh. Have you seen this, Mr. Powers? What's that? I've never seen these steel sa these steel samurais in my life. These are steel samurais that that appear at live shows. Oh, so they actually are different steel samurai actors. Okay. Ugh. A fanboy collected all these pictures himself. A fanboy collected all these pictures himself. Seeing things like this really makes me think. I mean, so much. I mean so much to these kids, you know. <laughs> I'm loved, but only when I wear a mask. I'm like Batman, but like nowhere near as cool. <laughs> it's actually more like Wolverine. Well, I mean, I guess he's more like Batman in the sense that he's a hero, like a, a typical hero. I mean, Wolverine's a bit more on the... I guess I wouldn't call him an anti-hero, but you know, he's a... He's a rough and tough, edgy type. <laughs> He's a loose cannon a mutant who doesn't play by the rules. Cody's camera. Okay, he doesn't know what that is. <laughs> Guide map. Yeah, I don't think that either. Mr. Monkey! Okay, I, I, I think that's the last of it. We're out! Nice talking to you, Will. I'm starting to get dizzy. I did a really... Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, how you doing, old lady? Let's see if I can get her voice properly. Okay, yeah, I got, it's easy. <laughs> I got it down now. All it is is just a really obnoxious sounding King Kai, <laughs> which is already a pretty obnoxious voice. <clears throat> that old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station, if we wanted. You eat, you die! <laughs> Whew, she's alive! <laughs> that she is, Maya. That she is, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, uh... I'm glad you're doing okay, old lady. <laughs> um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez. I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. <laughs> oh, the studio bigwigs love her! She always gets... She always gets her way. So she always gets her way! <laughs> she seems bitter. <laughs> do, you, do you not like the producer? Well, you don't like her either, Maya. <laughs> Look, the stu... 
The studio people don't want me to talk about her. I'm, I'm, I'm slipping into deep into in salmonella. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm slipping in salmonella. It's like I stepped in like a like a like a week old like piece of chicken, a piece of raw chicken. That's gross. Ew. Look, this the studio. <laughs> The studio people don't want me talking to, to me to talk about her. So sorry. I, I can't do it. I I literally I can't. <laughs> My voice is too hoarse to get it. I'm, I'm kind of scared to try and get it right. Ugh. Where was that? I'll kill you. <laughs> Something like that, Goku. <laughs> if I can get the Goku voice down, then I can get <laughs> this old lady. What will they do to poor powers? Ah, I think I'm getting it. I think. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal? He's a soft. He's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him. Uh, tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? There's all types in this world, Maya. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. <laughs> About Mr. Hammer. Ah! I heard what you said today! Kiki Whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer! You dragged his, his star down from the sky and stomped on it! Calling him a criminal! A thief! I... I... I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, Whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers' his costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Eh. However, old woman, I think I actually uh, got my- I got the voice back down! I remember where it was before! Where was Snapper? My voice is still hoarse as hell. Definitely need to- I got uh, kind of coming down from a, a cold, like, from yesterday. I'm not totally over it. <laughs> excuse after excuse with you, I uh, Moshe. Can ever just uh, own up to your mistakes? Hey! Hello! I, th I think I have a right to claim sickness. And all of these things are legitimate, actual setbacks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just being a big bitch. Just wanna... <laughs> find excuses for why you're a lazy ass bitch. Whoever delivers. <laughs> Guys don't think I'm a bitch, right? <laughs> Y'all think I'm... Y'all still like me, right? <laughs> right? Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I really am, man. I, like, I, I'd really be uploading more if I could, but like, there's a lot of things that get in the way. My luck isn't very good. My mic is pretty trash. I'm trying to work on getting my resume done. Trying to reconnect my family. Trying to become more spiritual. Connect more to the Holy Ghost within me, and all kinds of shit. It's a very, very busy period of my life. I'm an adult now. Actually, I've technically been an adult for like almost two years now, but still, you know how it is. I'm getting into my 20s, and that's when shit hits the fan, when you're broke all the time, and you don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. Man, this is getting real. <laughs> Anyways, moving past, <laughs> it's funny I'm talking about this when looking a satanic old woman dead in the eyes. <laughs> oh, well, the, the pupilous eyes. Pupilous? Pupil-less.